and welcome to Take 5 with the Regional Chamber. I'm Kim Calvert. A Valley company that spent decades in the manufacturing industry is now adding technology to its offerings. Humtown Products owner Mark LaMancha was recently honored with the Chamber's Salute to Business Entrepreneur of the Year Award for the innovative way he brought his company back from the brink during the recession. Talia Hagler sat down to talk to him about how technology transformed Humtown. Humtown Products is a supplier to the metal casting industry. They've been in the business since 1960. The company has hit bumps in the road along the way, but the recession in 2008 took a big toll, taking them close to the brink. When the Great Recession hit, we had over 220 people. We fell to 17 with only three in production, and it was the third turnaround in uh, 30 years for me, and it was the hardest one. That's when co-owner Mark LaMancha decided he needed to make a change to help the company regain its footing and thrive in the future. I had studied incentive systems before, but I was more after transforming the workplace into a place of performance to bring in what people enjoy in success in sports into the workplace. So out of that was born what I call now visual earnings. Mark wanted to make work fun and exciting. He wanted his team to be motivated. He wanted them to be able to track their performance and be paid more for their efforts. So he created a system that visualizes the labor portion of manufacturing, and it allows the team members to see their results in real time. On its initial application, when we put it in at that time, back in 2008, when our, our rate was more around $10 an hour, they took their pay rate from 10 up to $22 an hour by being able to engage in this technology. And I was after engagement and excitement and into what used to be called work into performance and to bring gamification and competing onto the performance field of the manufacturing space. Mark has since patented the technology. He's in the testing phases now and eventually plans to sell the visual earnings system to other manufacturing companies. For Take 5 with the Regional Chamber, I'm Talia Hagler. For more on Humtown and everything they have to offer, visit Humtown.com. And now to a way you can give back during this year's United Way Day of Caring. Karen Conklin, Executive Director of the American Red Cross of the Mahoning Valley, says she understands that not everyone can take an entire day off of work to volunteer. That's why the Red Cross is setting up a blood donation station at the Cavelli Center this Friday from 9 to 2 to give people an easy, quick way to donate. I think everybody's watching uh, Hurricane Dorian and if you think about all of the blood drives in the Carolinas that are getting canceled because of this storm, everybody's evacuating and so uh, you know there's a huge need for blood across this country every single day. Blood has a short shelf life and so we have to continually replenish that blood supply. So if people are saying, well how can I help the people that are affected by the storm? donate blood on Friday. One pint of blood saves up to three lives. The goal for this Friday is 70 pints. Karen says the business with the most donors at the Day of Caring event will receive an award. You can sign up online to donate at redcrossblood.org. We hope you enjoyed this edition of Take 5 and we'll see you again next week. With the Regional Chamber, I'm Kim Calvert. Take 5 with the Regional Chamber is produced by Mahoning Valley Productions, where we tell your stories.